Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So over the last couple of months, as we have been talking about on the channel, Windows 11 lost support for WordPad and Microsoft Paint 3D. Just to um, mention two kind of legacy features of Windows that Microsoft has been deprecating over the last couple of months. And just on a side note, if you still want to keep using WordPad, if it's been removed from your system or Microsoft Paint 3D, I'll leave two videos linked down below and in the end screen how you can carry on using both um, if you would be interested. Now, according to Microsoft, they say that, did you know that deprecation is not the end point of the life cycle? So basically, they're talking about what deprecation means in the Windows life cycle. They mention that life cycle describes the length of time something lasts. And deprecation, they say, simply means that a Windows feature, functionality, or service is no longer in active development, and it will be retired and removed from a future release. Now, the life cycle duration of a product depends on what the product is, according to Microsoft. And if we head over to this tech community blog post dated the 30th of Jan, which I'll leave linked down below if you'd like some more info. If we head to this section, they mention a couple of interesting little tidbits. They say that the beginning of a life cycle is often described with the terms launch and availability. And then they mention that once available, the product enters its most vigorous and productive period called support. And yeah, they mention that this period can be two, five, ten or, or more years, depending on the policy. And then they mention here in this third little uh, bullet point, the end of a life cycle is most clearly marked with the terms end of life, end of support, retirement and removal. And they mention that it's important to note that deprecation isn't among these end of life terms. So when a product is deprecated, it doesn't reach its end of life. And Microsoft explains this in uh, the next paragraph, and I'm just going to read this quickly. And I'm quoting, they say that although deprecation is often thought of as the end, it's not. A deprecation announcement is an advance notice or a save the date courtesy to signal that the product will be retired or removed in the future. And then they mention that deprecated products are supported until the retirement or removal date. However, they are no longer in active development and won't evolve. They finish off to say sometimes years can go by between the deprecation announcement and the actual end of the life cycle. So basically, just to sum this all up, at the end of the day, when Microsoft deprecates an app or a feature, it's their kind of way of giving you a save the date so you can prepare um, to move on from the feature. And as mentioned, deprecation doesn't mean end of support or end of life. The app or the feature will still work. And there are many reasons that a feature is deprecated. But I think the main reason is that um, Microsoft is wanting to modernize the operating system of Windows, especially Windows 11, which has lost a good couple of those legacy features over the last months. So tell me what you think down in the comments. Do you agree with us? What are your thoughts? I'd like to know. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.